how do I stake a token on the StakeX platform? Well, I'm JTXRP, and today I'm going to give you a short tutorial about how to do that. Uh, before we get started, if you find this video helpful, please remember to smash that like button. But we're going to get into it here today. Uh, we're actually going to be using Ascension or ASC and StakeX X, X, STX <laughs> to be able to do this today. And you may have another token on the StakeX platform that you need. Uh, st the STX token and another token, but we're going to use ASC or Ascension because I believe that's the most craziest amount of rewards you can get. Uh, so if you haven't seen it yet, please go take a look at my uh, seven layer passive income strategy. And I'll put the link probably somewhere here uh, or in the description below, but please go check that out and uh, take a look at that video. But without further ado, let's get started. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to make sure you have a ZUM wallet set up. And if you don't have a ZUM wallet set up, if you don't have uh, STX and the other token you're wanting to stake, then you can't do this. So make sure you have those first. All right. And so if you are, uh, if you have all of those set up and you have the trust lines and you have the, uh, the different tokens in your wallet, uh, for example, I'm going to open my ZUM wallet and show you here. Uh, you can see that I have Ascension, ASC uh, in the middle there, and then you also see StakeX right under it. And so uh, I have about equal XRP value worth. Uh, if you just want to figure that out, you can go to account worth uh, on the uh, apps there, and it'll show you the account worth. And so you can see that StakeX, I have roughly $15 USD in XRP, and I have... Uh, roughly $15 worth in XRP value of, or sorry, USD value of ASC. So ASC and StakeX are about equal value. Um, but I believe the pool is dependent on the amount of StakeX that you have. Um, so whatever pool you in, pull you're in, it depends on the amount of StakeX. So now that you see that we have the Ascension and StakeX in our wallet, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the StakeX platform. Uh, link will be in the description below, but it's uh, S-T-A-Y-K-X.com. And so you can see here, I have the website up. I'm going to hit accept for the cookies just to get them out of the way. And what you're gonna do is you are going to hit the three hamburger menu up at the top and you're going to click sign in uh, inside the menu here. And so what this is gonna do, it's gonna bring you back to your wallet. And so what's a little bit different about the StakeX platform is that you are, it's called soft staking because you're not, unlike other staking platforms, you're not giving them custody of your tokens. Uh, it's really more of a rewards platform. Uh, and they actually, you, you hold the funds in your wallet. They never go anywhere. You're giving the different, you're giving the StakeX platform a, a read ability to your wallet. So no transactions can happen without you signing on them, just for those who are new to this. Uh, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna give them the rights to read your wallet and hit slide to accept. And of course it's gonna read your face or use your pin. And then you're going to hit next. And it's gonna bring you back over to the StakeX platform. And now if you click on the menu, you can see it says sign out. You don't wanna sign out, but that's how you know you're signed in. Um, so next you're going to hit stake on right below home there, and it's going to bring you to the different staking pools. And so you can see the amount, uh, of the competition and the Ascension, uh, stake X Ascension pool just on the top there. And then if you scroll down though, you'll, you'll see retrieving balances and you'll see the little whale icon there on the right, wait for it to get done. And then you'll be able to see how much is in your wallet and how much you're able to stake. And uh, it'll give you the options here shortly. So it also gives you a lot more options. It gives you all the pools. So what you, I usually do is I hit hide zero balances. I just check that right there. If I can hit the button, thank you. And then you can see towards the bottom that you see uh, ASC and stake X. Uh, so I will, you see, you can see I have a 40, uh, 0.7 XRP value uh, in there. So I'm going to, uh, there's a little slider at the bottom. You're going to use that to slide <laughs> if I can, if I can do it while I'm on video. <laughs> and you can see that I am now 100% um, staked on using that. 
and I want to hit you, but you're not done yet. You want to hit finish by hitting click to stake at the very bottom in this blue button right here. If I can tap the button. There we go. It says success, data updated, and that's how you know you're staked. All right. So now you can close this out, sign out, and you can watch the, uh, if you're an Ascension or StakeX, uh, hit sign out here. All right. We're signed out. So remember, if you are doing Ascension and StakeX, you need to have the trust lines for whatever you're going to receive in the rewards as well. Um, usually in a staking pool for StakeX, you receive, you receive a reward based on what you're staking. So if I was staking STX and Ascension, I would get Ascension. If I was staking STX and Zoge, I would get Zoge. Uh, but Ascension actually drops you many different tokens. So if you need to set up those trust lines, please make sure to watch my other video about the hard slotted tokens and setting up those trust lines so that you can get the rewards. But hopefully if this isn't for Ascension and StakeX, this has still helped you. And if it is for Ascension and StakeX, then it's exactly what you're looking for, hopefully. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, you should be able to see the next day, uh, the, if you look, click on events down here next to home, you should be able to see uh, daily rewards coming into you uh, into this event section uh, the next day. So if you don't see that the next day or the day after, you might have set something up wrong. Uh, but follow these steps in the tutorial and you should be okay. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. I'm JTXRP and I'm out.